Rossi. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the sauce. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Sauce Podcast with Kendi Taylor. I have my guest co-host, Miss Sarah Taylor. Howdy. And my guest for today is a very, very cool guy that I, I met recently. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone and tell them who you are and what you do? I was uh, on Kenzie Taylor's porn set recently and changed my life. And now I have a porn <laughs> podcast because of her. Not because of her. <laughs> uh, Ryan Pownell and I have a show called Pillow Talk. It's, uh, it's an adult podcast. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm very in the uh, porn world. However, I've never shown my pee-pee. Yeah. <laughs> and that's me. I have you shown you... it on FaceTime? Yeah. Like, I'll have FaceTime sex with Brie. Okay. Yeah. I heard you may have gotten pants at the Brazzers party. Oh, Kieran. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did he post that? No. No. no okay. No, I called no. the tail uh, end of it. Like, yeah. you, like, holding your pants to, like, here and pulling them up the rest of the way, like, mad. You know what? I think he has fat man syndrome. And <laughs> because he's so, uh, you know, talks about his hair and how many girls he and his penis, of course. But he's a, he keeps his shirt on for sets. And, like, he takes that anger out on me. Mm. Yeah. So just lose weight and, you know, we'll be friends. Yeah, like, I love the beef. <laughs> just, you know, okay, cool. You can get plugs for your hair. Mm -hmm. But what are you doing about your belly? You know, try Ozempic, Manjaro, whatever. <laughs> you know, then he'll stop teasing me so much. I think it's an inner thing with him. Uh, so he's like bullying you because he just is insecure. Right. Bullies in high school are proven to be the most insecure. That's a the thing. They take it out on, you know, I'm a man. I'm a, that's Kieran. Mm. You know, he's a big, he's, he's large. You know, not his penis. His, his penis is large, but his belly. <laughs> yeah. So he's, he needs to figure that out, and then maybe he'll be nicer to others, you know, maybe get some therapy. Yeah, that, yeah, that wasn't cool. When I saw the picture of your pee-pee circulating on Twitter, I was like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you were like, what is he doing <laughs> not in sets? I had to zoom in, like. Mm. So you. It was cold. It was you, outdoors. You lost your porn set virginity, that is true, um, to a set that I was on. For my bang babe of the month for December yeah. for bang.com. What an honor. Yeah, it was oh, awesome. Yeah. So what did you think watching Mick Blue fuck me? Like, <laughs> what was it like? Tell everybody that, you know, obviously doesn't get to see behind the scenes on an actual porn set what it's yeah. like. What is it like? It, that's the most like no one knows shit in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, no one knows what happens at Area 51 and no one knows what happens on porn sets. Even me interviewing porn stars for a year, I had no clue what it was going to be like. So I was, I woke up that day more like I was going to the Super Bowl, playing in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I was smiling. Ear I called 40 people. <laughs> you know, today's the day. It was game day. Oh, and then I walk in and everyone's way nicer than I thought. Mm -hmm. I thought it was uh, long days and, you know, assholes directing like you've seen the movies. Well, you de it, de it depends. It okay. depends. There, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some, you know, people that aren't the nicest. And there are days where they're long. But okay. um, those are days where So maybe I was features. on a great one. You were on a gonzo day. Okay. So gonzo is just sex and no dialogue. Really no type of yeah. plot per se. It's just like, hey, we're okay, just Okay, so I thought it was, yeah. Ottoman. Here you go. <laughs> I, I didn't expect it to be so cool and chill and easy. Yeah. And they didn't even tell you what to do. They just, yeah. everyone just shows up, cracks jokes, have fun. Okay, fuck however you want. Mm -hmm. And then we'll film it. And then you went home. And then we were just friends and family. I was like, this is so chill. You luckily got to be on a day, though, um, where you got to be on set with, like, pros. Like, Mick's been doing this Yeah, Mick's 20 plus years. I've been doing this seven. And, like, we know what we're doing. And then Chris Dreams, he's been directing for, you know, like, 30 years now, like, so it was just so a, we all know what we're doing mm. and it's pros, but I will say if you would have had an experience where it would have been like somebody newer, where they're having to be like, okay, no, we need you to do this, it might have okay, see, that's might what have I was ruined expecting. it a little for you. Yes, I might have not a question. have been that good of an experience. Um, did you like shave your pubic hairs and everything, thinking that if Mick couldn't perform, they were going to ask you to? <laughs> <laughs> for one second, <laughs> did it cross your mind, the even button. for a millisecond, where you were mm. like, they might need me? No. No, I'm not looked at as a sex person. And I wish I was a little more, to be honest, I'm almost offended. But yeah. that's not, it's not my thing. Yeah. What, what if, though, just this is just a hypothetical. What if you would have walked in, they're like, Mick didn't show up today, Ryan. Um, you know, you're a good-looking guy. We're going to pay for you to go get a rapid test right now, and we're going to need you to do this. What would you have done? I would prefer, in, I actually would prefer, and no disrespect, Kenzie, yes. you looked great that day. Oh, thanks. You know, and I was single at the time. Yes, yes. You know, 
I would prefer if Chris didn't show up and I could film. Ah, oh, okay. That would excite me more, to be okay. honest. Yeah, to, to direct it. Yes. Because I find the filming part, I respect directors. It's a lot to put these people together and organize and cool. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But I find the filming needs a lot of work in porn. And I have so many notes that I've, I, on the bank sets, I kept saying like, by the way, we want to see more of this, you know, as a chronic masturbator from the outside. They don't get to hear the voice of the people. They don't read comments. Yeah. And they probably yeah. just... So I'm like, listen, this is what we like. What are, what are, if you could pick three things that really need to be improved as, as far as like filming the actual video, what would you change okay. as a viewer? Number one. Yes. Nobody wants to see the zoom in dick vag. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Mm -hmm. that, that could be, you know, my sister and her brother-in-law. Yeah. My brother-in-law. It could be anyone. Yeah. What, so... You know, I'm, I'm paying premium subscription to see Kenzie Taylor, superstar, pretty face, boobs, and then they're going to zoom in on this. Would you want like a couple of seconds of this no. zoom in? No. No, you want to be able to see Vag all the way to the top of the girl's head. Am I right? Yes. All right. Yes. That's right. The, the girl's head should always be in the whole scene because that's the porn star. A body's a body. That's why I don't understand how some girls you know, do OnlyFans and hide their identity and just do their body. Who's jerking off to that? I want to see a face. Yeah. When I'm scrolling on the hub, I'm looking for a pretty face. Then number two, I'm looking at body. The only thing I can imagine of, of the people that jerk off to the no face type stuff is like if they get busted by their girl that might be jealous. Mm. Oh, I was pretending it was you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some shit like that. Yeah. Pussies. Okay. Number two. <laughs> What's number two that you would change? Okay. Number two. Who the fuck <laughs> wants to see the guy's face, bro? <laughs> or their ass. I get that they're bored and filming, but just <laughs> fucking stay there, man. Just hold the camera. We don't care about your, like, they're cutting to Seth Gamble's face. Good looking guy. <laughs> Show Kenzie Taylor. <laughs> well, I will say there are fans of the males as well. There are. So separate the vids. Yeah. Don't mix it up. If you're watching just for the dudes, I don't want you watching my shit because <laughs> you're messing up my, my video. Mm. Oh, They're fucking and, with you your know, flow. they show the guy every now and then they, they go like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah. I don't know anyone in the world, straight male, who's like, doesn't do this. <laughs> yeah, I just it ruined them. Yeah, I like it, though. Everyone yeah. does that. I like yeah. to see a man's face when he's inserting it. And his eyes roll, or when he's coming, I actually yeah. like it because it's like. Then they ugh. should make porn for girls and make porn for guys. Yeah. We shouldn't be sharing porn. I don't know, man. Because probably ninety-eight percent of porn watchers are straight males. Yeah. So do it for us, and then make a little page for the two percenters like you and the, the gay the guys, <laughs> and sh they can have their own porn. You and they'll they'll get more of the guy's face. Yeah. What's number three that you'd change? Okay, number three. The cum shots, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about cream pie. Mm -hmm. What is a yeah. cream pie? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's fun to do. It's the best to do. Yeah. But visually, it's becoming almost more popular than the cum shot. What? What's up with that? Yeah, because a lot of the times, if the, I will say this from like actually performing it, a lot of the times, if the guy is not, um, realizing like how deep he might be while he's doing it and pulling out you might see one little drop of cum mm. you know what i mean but if it's a good guy that's been doing it a long time somebody like mick or kieran or seth or whoever else they'll go right to the very tip basically and come a little bit in the girl and pull out and the rest will go all over them that's but cool. still a yeah. lot of people want to see it from the very beginning shooting out and yeah all that jazz I, it's, and, and then well, what do you like do you like when a girl gets a facial yes. titties what? facial with eyes looking up at the camera okay that's what I like. do you like it when she gets it in her eyes yes yeah oh, I, I mean that. i don't need it in the eyes i like it what uh, about tongue if you out in the mouth what if you see a video though and a girl's like it's a blow bang and it's like 10 dudes and she's like i'm gonna hold my eyes open and i want all of you to come like in my see, eyes See, i don't watch that <laughs> and i feel bad for the girl do not I'm like, I hope she got damn paid. it i'm like oh. i hope she got paid well for yeah this. i did i did it was great <laughs> <laughs> but then after the cream pie, they do like the thing where it oozes out for like two minutes. But our guy, I don't know. Are guys still like, oh my God, watching another dude's cum drip out of a pussy with no sex? Or who's watching that? I think they just think it's cool, but who's watching it? Um, I mean, I'm envisioning maybe the person that's like, 
oh, look at the mess I made or something that thinks that's really their cum. But are they still jerking? Is it like after they finished? Because I, I like to know. time my cum with the guy's cum. Yeah. Number four, <laughs> bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dudes need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. We're not watching for you. <laughs> if you're louder than the girl, I'm, I'm out, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out my boy, Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> Goss is good, y'all. Goss is good. I like uh, uh, Ram Ro Ramon. Sorry, Ramon. I always yeah. say Romaine. Uh, yeah, Ramon. Yeah. I like his talking only. Because is it because he sounds like Ricky Ricardo from I Love Lucy? <laughs> Yeah, because that's what I said yeah. to him. Because uh, so, really quick story: we did this kink scene together, and I was like the senator's daughter, and he kidnapped me, and I'm like blindfolded and like tied up and all this stuff, and he threw me in a trunk. It was so hot, wow. but he pulls me out of the trunk, and he's like, takes the <laughs> he takes the blindfold because I had one around my mouth and one around my eyes, and he takes the one off my, off my mouth. And he's like, tell me, tell me you want this cock. Tell me. I like that. I <laughs> like he, that. What do you want? He kept saying it in my head. I'm like, I'm like, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Or you're going to get punished more. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> now come on my cock. Oh, good yeah. girl. I, that's cool. It's just like, this is, he's the man. Is it because of the accent? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But like Isaiah Maxwell, he does the, I think he's the best porn star right now. Because he just fucks really good, mm -hmm. makes the girls look good. He doesn't talk much. He's a lover. Much. Yeah. He's a lover. He I like his guy. porn a lot, Isaiah Maxwell. Although our penis colors don't align. Yes. So it's, you know, I'll, I'll do it for him. But often, not to be racist, but yes. I try to do white dicks because I pretend it's my dick. Of course. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Got it. He's yeah. the best. So what, uh, what led you to start an adult podcast, I guess? Is it your love for porn or? Okay. See, that's what people think. People think I'm porn obsessed. Okay. I'm not. I mean, you know, you as do much interview as the a lot guy. of porn stars, though. Right, right. Yes. You know, I like porn. Yes. I think every guy does. I just express myself more. But no, this was all by mistake. Actually, I started. Uh, I was on MTV years ago. Okay. MTV Canada. Okay. You know, I got the boot after six months. He's he's the Canadian, boot. just so everyone knows. Toronto. <laughs> yeah. And uh, after I got the boot, because they were doing cuts, because no one watches MTV anymore. You know, I was the last guy hired, first guy fired. You know. <laughs> And I tried YouTube. YouTube, very tough. Very tough. Didn't mm -hmm. know what I was doing. Had one video do well, though. Interviewed my grandfather about sex. Oh. Uh, my grandfather's more fucked up than me. Mm. And I call it sex in the 50s. So it was like, hey, you know, what, what positions do you still do with grandma? You know, where do you not? Oh. You know, do they know the name of the positions? <laughs> not really. Yeah. Like the, me on top. The, her on the, top. Yeah, the one where she's on her back and her legs right, are that's in the how air. They said it, yeah. <laughs> the churn butter. You don't. Know, <laughs> did you guys ever have a threesome? The one where she's uh, cooking dinner in the kitchen and I'm jerking off in the bathroom. Yeah. How <laughs> many bodies one. do you have total? You ever cheat on grandma? You know. Did he does cheat she still on your grandma? You, you still get whacked when she's Wait, tired. Wait, hold on. Rewind. Did he cheat on your grandma? No. Ah. And what a she good guy. only ever fucked him. That's how it used to be. Oh man. Yeah. They're oh, ruining hope for the rest of us. Right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that video did well. None of my other videos did well. Then when COVID happened, I was in the nightclub events, festival, all that shit scene. Mm -hmm. I had to do something else. So I was like, you know what? I start a podcast and I'll interview like popular friends I have about sex like I did my grandfather. Mm -hmm. After a couple episodes, they, you know, people stopped wanting to come on because was, I was going so crazy with my questions. Mm -hmm. So then it got into like doing OnlyFans girls. I would talk about it. Then OnlyFans girls, bigger OnlyFans girls. Then we did Mia Malkova. Mm -hmm. So we, we jumped from OnlyFans Girls to Mia Malkova. Bang. And then it just became the porn podcast. Mm. So it was kind of like by mistake. But uh, I'm happy to be here. Do you feel like, um, and I'm asking this because, you know, having my own podcast and I have interviewed a lot of people in the industry. Do you feel like because you have interviewed a lot of porn people or OnlyFans people that it's hard to branch out and get other people now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big time. Because you're kind of put yourself in a, like a box in a way. Yeah. Like I just did a full episode with Ric Flair. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Well. Woo. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Not woo. Yeah. <laughs> no woo. Oh, God. So, you know, finally get him Ric Flair. Wow. What a dream. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And fucking Ric Flair tells me right out, like right after filming, it was an hour. It was great. Uh, hey, Rick doesn't want that episode out. Ugh. He said you asked too many fucked up questions. Ugh. So now it's just not coming out. I told everyone Rick Flair was coming out. I had to Google him. He's a wrestler? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's legend, legend like it. legendary. Like he he on his documentary said, "I've slept with ten thousand women." He was like the first. Like they named a, a rap song "Ric Flair Drip" because he's always dripped down. And he has this saying where he's like, "Limousine riding, yeah. jet flying." He was like the first Rolex Hugh wearing, Hefner, Dan yeah. Bilzerian kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, he was like the OG. Damn. So, and his his phrase is like, "Woo!" Yeah, that's I think why he I got upset. That. It was one question in particular. Mm. Uh, I asked him, "Hey, Rick." How big is Andre the Giant's dick? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, from the rest of the interview, he was like very like, like this, uh, and that's what the guy told me. That's so how did you? How did it feel though when you got a call and they were like, "You really offended Ric Flair"? Did, broke, yeah. did you feel bad or not? Yeah, broke my heart. Yeah. Very sad about that. You know what you should do is just like air the episode, but never show him, and have someone reenact his answers. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you some, could. It's a parody some, or else. an animated version of the interview. That's, that's funny. You could do that because Steve-O, when he went and touched the Abraham Lincoln statue, he got in a lot of trouble and they said, um, you cannot post that video because you committed a crime. So what he did is he paid animators <laughs> to make a cartoon version, <laughs> like an actual side-by-side -side cartoon version of him touching the Abraham Lincoln statue and he posted that. That's, yeah, I, could I, I could try to pull that off. I, yeah, but, but make he, sure she gets the residuals from that. Nah. So. Rick, Rick, a lot of his answers were, "I love my wife." I love my wife. So he wanted to get away mm. from the sex stuff. What did he think he was? What podcast do you think he was coming on? The amount of times I've said that. Yeah. So does it bother you that um, some people think that your podcast is just like basically a big clickbait type thing? Like, what do you mean clickbait? Like. Like a lot of the stuff that's talked about is like controversial or like offensive and stuff I like, like that. that. You like it? I like that a lot. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know. I agree. Yeah. yeah it's great. Yeah. Some, you like making people like uncomfortable or yes, antsy? I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah. I like what about that. when people make you feel that way? It's fine. Yeah? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Go that's ahead. Awesome. Let's start with our rapid questions. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's Put you go. in the real hot seat. Okay. Would you have, uh, would you rather have money or happiness? Happiness. Happiness? Okay. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs? Would you rather travel to the past or travel to the future? Fuck the past. Fuck the past. Future. Fuck that. <laughs> um, do you have your own Netflix account or do you use somebody else's? I use uh, Breeze, my girlfriend Breeze. She was going to make that joke and then she didn't. She was like, oh, are, you, uh, are you mooching off your girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> That's I am. <laughs> yeah. She has she has everything. Yeah. She has HBO Max. We don't even touch it. She Jesus. got it all. Well, Ooh. give me the login. Sure. <laughs> What's your go-to karaoke song and is it something by Rush? Uh <laughs> No. You know, Rush is an overrated Canadian thing. Like yes. we don't really care. Yeah? Yeah, no, no, no. What's your go-to karaoke song then? I do uh I believe in a thing called Love by the Darkness. Ooh, that's yeah. a good one. I, I can do the high note. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I can hit the note. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. you guys are killing me. <laughs> That's a good song. Yeah, what's yours? Uh, go, my go-to karaoke song. Uh, I love bad bitches. That's my fucking problem. Okay, That's so good. fucking problems. That's good. I love that one. And, and Sarah. That's my fucking problem. Um, my go-to, <laughs> honestly, uh, blah, 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 blah. I like uh, bar uh, the Barbie song. Except yeah. I get a guy to do the girl part, and I do the guy part. Oh, that's funny. I usually just do it for the lols. Or Drive by Incubus. That's a good song. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm really good at Eminem also. So I really? forgot about Dre. Yeah. Okay. Now, Daisy, everybody want to talk that? You know, I do that part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He really wants to sing right now. Oh, kid can <laughs> sing. What, yeah. what is not a big deal to most people, but it's absolute torture to you? Hmm. Hmm. Torture to me. It's torture to you, but to some people, it's like, ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so like, I'm really insecure about something like, uh, mm, okay. Not a lot of shit pisses me off. I don't really get mad. It doesn't have to piss you off. Okay. Just something that like grinds your gears. Like, mm. I'll give you an example for me. Okay. Some people are like, uh, whatever. I cannot stand when I am eating with someone and they're eating with their mouth open and oh. they're smacking their food and like spitting their food when they're talking and all that. Okay. But some people are like, oh, whatever. Okay. When I meet someone mm -hmm. and they start talking about how much money they make or celebrities that they know in the first two minutes, mm. I cringe in my body and I hate you yeah. so much. Fuck, I hate you. Like, yeah, you know, I just signed this deal. I'm making 160K off for the year, but it's nothing because, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. So Lady Gaga, you know, she invited me to, oops. 
hey, man, I just met you. Hey, can I just say every actual successful person I know never has to talk about who they know or how much money they have because they're just successful. Right. So yeah, that, and it's the real the, successful people out there, they don't need to talk about if that. If you talk about it, you ain't got it. Just saying. Some people talk about it. Some people be about it. Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, hey, Hell man, yeah. how's Hell, it going? Hell yeah. Yeah. Don't name drop so much. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck <laughs> that shit. <sighs> Go ahead. You can ask some. Oh, you want me to ask one? Yeah. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. I think this one was your question about girlfriend hall pass. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Awesome. If your girlfriend gave you a hall pass to fuck one female porn star, one and done, and that is it, never again, who would you choose? You know they've talked about this. Okay. Well, we have... Uh, Bree's really cool about everything I do. Yes. But she didn't like... I used to flirt a lot on the show, mm -hmm. and that was part of it, that I'd, I'd start every episode with, like, uh, I've jerked off to you this many times, mm -hmm. you know? And stuff like that. And she's like, you know, you don't have to do the whole I've jerked off to you thing or tell them, like, you're so hot. I love the way you get fucked when you look like this. That's fair. Yeah. So now it's more just friendly. Yes. So I'm, I shouldn't answer that, but she knows it's Mia Malkova. It's, uh, it's Mia Malkova? Okay. Yeah. I was going to um, say, it's just a hypothetical hall yeah. pass if it Mia happens. Mia knows. Yeah. Bree knows. Okay. I have a follow-up question to that. Okay. Um, let's just say in a hypothetical world, you had the hall pass to be with a male porn star. Who would that be? And why is it dread? <laughs> no, it's Ramon. It's Ramon. It's Ramon? Yeah. Nah. Is it because of the accent? Because of his voice. Oh, yeah. I you just... want him to say, Ryan, tell me you want this cock. <laughs> tell me. Oh, yeah. It's Ramon for sure. He's so cool. <laughs> He's pretty cool. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you could undergo a procedure to erase memories, would you? No. No. Oh, like specific ones? Yes. Um, no. I mean, I mean, no, no. No? No, life is good. Life has been pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. You know, if I, if like, let's say my, my only, yeah. I have a fear that like, if my girl ever like made a sex tape in the past and mm. that like leaked, that would like make me vomit. I just think of the Kardashians and how successful that was for them though. So like, yeah. there's an but upside to that. Also, you'd have to recognize like, that would be a past thing. And you're like, oh. Yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> I like to pretend she's a virgin. Oh, okay. You know, that's how we play. So you guys don't have threesomes then? No. Okay. No, we don't do that. No. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we just make sweet love. Sweet, sweet love. Sweet two minutes. And do you sing, I believe in a thing called love while you're fucking your girlfriend? I'll sing to like seduce her, <laughs> you know? Like today I was singing, uh, she, she has to go to New York this weekend and oh, I had it playing, but. I just walked in uh, the bedroom today with breakfast, and I, I, I put Sam Smith, stay with me, on the, on the speaker, and I was going, won't you stay with me? And I asked her to bail on New York and stay with me. You know, I do things like that. <laughs> you tell her, don't go to work. Just stay home. Yeah. We'll, we'll live off zero dollars <laughs> and get evicted. <laughs> right. Love. <laughs> We're going to live off love. See? Happiness over money. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, if you could go back in time and change history would you hmm. i mean yeah some things what know? would you change well it's not cool how they treated black people back in the day mm -hmm. love my black people mm -hmm. you know but that's not cool yeah not cool what they did to the jews either nope that's yep. not cool. So Shit like that. The you Holocaust, know? definitely. Yeah, Holocaust. Just kill Hitler. Racism. Mm. You know, stuff like that. Also killing, you know, certain celebrities like like uh like Michael Jackson. Mm. You know, don't take those sleeping pills, bro. You know? John Lennon. Don't go sign that autograph today, bro. I would have given Elvis Presley a colace to soften his stool. <laughs> you know, he died taking a shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that's what he needed. If I could go back, I would very be like, I wonder Take like if this. it fell out though, like while he died, like if it like fell out and then he died or if he was still just, or if they gave him a wipe before the funeral, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like what if it was just like, did they, yeah. Yeah. Well, I will say as a person who used to work in hospice, so I used to deal with a lot of dead bodies. They're very, they're very like, they're cleaned. Like we have to like really take mm. care of them. And then well, also do, at the morgue, yeah. they do all that. Cause don't you poop they when, when you uh, die? You yeah, poop, you like pee, you can pass gas. Up. Sometimes you could burp. Everything Sometimes there's up. like <gasps> like a big gasp and people will think like, oh my God, they're, they're alive. No, it just happens. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this conversation anymore. Ooh. Okay. All right. We're hyping it up. We're hyping it up. Oof. <laughs> Go on, Sarah. Ask them. What would you say is proper Uber etiquette? Shotgun or backseat? Oh, shotgun's weird. So you always go to the back seat. Yeah, shotgun, like, bro, like, do you need what, friends? What if you're, <laughs> what if you're with a group of people? Would you be like, oh, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll grab yeah. shoddy so I can play the music. Okay, you know? you're the yeah. DJ. Yeah, I'll DJ. I'll DJ. But people that go in the front solo with someone else, like, bro, I'll add you to my group chat. Like, you need friends. Yeah. Like, is everything okay in your life? Yeah, you almost feel like obligated when your friends are in the back though to talk to the driver. Do people actually do that though when they're by themselves? Yes, to sit I used the to drive for seat? Uber. Mm -hmm. See, I, I feel like a dickhead. You know I'd be like, no, I'm sorry. You got to get in the back. <laughs> yeah. I would purposely put a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'd boxes. have like a dummy or something in the passenger seat. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You can't sit here. It's, I feel it's like an Bob's asshole because <laughs> on Uber Black, you know, you have the option to do like a uh, conversation level. Yeah. And I uh, say yeah. zero. Yeah. You say no, no talking. I or don't whatever. Need, Quiet like, preferred is what it is. Yeah. Look, I, I love, I talk all day. Yeah. But like we don't, it's usually a time to like do shit on my phone. Yeah. We don't got to Sometimes talk. you get funny people like, because uh, I always get yeah. Uber Black too. And remember when we were leaving Top Golf in Chicago, that lady, what was she talking to us about? It was so funny. I don't even fucking remember, dude. She was she, going off about kids. Yeah, she was so funny. I don't know. Really I, I had to put an episode out once, you know, and you know, it takes a, like a good two hours to like, yeah. do all this stuff. And I, w I had an hour and a half Uber. So I was like, okay, you know, because I was at a, a thing in Hollywood. I was going all the way somewhere else. I was like, I'll do it all for my phone in the Uber. And Buddy Boy just wanted to tell me about how, how he's starting a hockey league. Oh, and he's God. like, yeah, I'm starting like a ball hockey league. My son loves ball hockey. So and boom, an hour and a half, but it's this fucking ball hockey league. Hey, bro. Because I'm Canadian. I love hockey, right? Just put headphones in. <laughs> that, that's what I was missing. I was like, and then I had to tell him, hey, man, can we, can we not do this? We, I don't care. I don't care about your ball hockey league. <laughs> I said that to him. Have you ever been kicked out of an Uber before? I have a low rating. You have a low rating. I think so it's 4.2. I'm trying to work it up. But, so you know, you've been kicked out of an Uber? Or no? Yeah, I, I actually have Lyft now because people don't pick my rides. They see my low rating. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I feel like it's, it's, what ra about, it's racism. Almost. What about being kicked out of an Uber like in the in like the dead of winter? Oh, in, in Toronto? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I had a, yeah. a friend who, I don't do cocaine. Mm -hmm. But my idiot friends, they love to do coke in the Uber. Yeah. So I've been kicked out probably like six or seven times for my cokehead <laughs> friends. Fucking degenerates. Thanks a lot, friends. Yeah. Just hide it, you drug addicts. <laughs> Take your spoon necklace off. It's obvious, okay? Yeah. You always got that pinky nail. Oh. <laughs> so gross. Degenerates. I think it looks so... I actually think it looks gross as fuck when I see the pinky nail. Oh. I know it serves a purpose for them, but it just looks so weird. Yeah. Let, let all the other nails grow too. You can keep your coke Just fingernail. Just do a key bump like the rest of us recovering addicts, okay? <laughs> I mean, I don't do them anymore, but I did a lot of key bumps in my day, you know? I feel that. I can, yeah. feel that. I can tell by your The swag. whole key up my nose. <laughs> 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 okay, go on. <laughs> um, I guess you're looking at me like, let me ask. No. Have you ever embarrassed yourself on a news channel, specifically CTV Ottawa Morning Show Live when promoting Palooza Beer Pong Festival? <laughs> The beer pong shot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How do you know that? I did my research. That's We're Nardwar Juniors. Yo, that's good. We're going to insert the clip right here. Pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah, are good. Non drinks are good. Yeah. yeah. But it does help to have a couple beers and you to play beer pong. That's it's like a rule of thumb. Absolutely. All right. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to keep playing this. We had some more Wow. Thank you for having this. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a good clip. Wow. I, yeah. So you did. So, you, yeah. Yeah. yeah was, that was embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. That really was. Yeah. Yeah. Because it <laughs> Give us some context on it. We want to yeah, hear. Yeah. We'd love to know some because that was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I used to do, uh, I used to own and run Palooza Beer Pong Festival. Yeah. Guinness World Record, world's largest beer pong tournament. Low key. Low still key. Still to this day. Yeah. I mean, at COVID, but 4,000 people playing still beer time. pong at once. Check the, Google it. Google it. And I went on there to promote the festival. Yeah. And I was with uh, Henry Burris, a legendary CFL quarterback. And they're like, okay, let's play some beer pong. I'm like, oh, here we go. So now it's like, okay, is this guy the real deal? There's nobody's talking about beer pong. One shot, very important. 
And it was the worst shot in history. It was. I think I could have hit 10,000 people the at the way, festival. The way you were bragging about how many beers you had in your stomach, and you're like, this is going to fuel me, or whatever you said, and then you like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sad. Big loser. Fucking wasted. <laughs> yeah, loser, loser. I, I think I would have really... Like, that shot impacted how many people came to the festival. Do you think you need to, like, redeem yourself at some point? Yeah. For, for the public. I haven't played since. You need really? I'll never throw a ball again. You know, oh, yeah. I'm too embarrassed. I feel I feel like we need to get like the CTV you have a ball here? Ottawa Morning Show live <laughs> to let you redeem yourself. I can't believe you brought that up. I, I that haunted me for years, and I finally passed it. Um, okay, so I have another question. Uh, <laughs> so, have you ever been scammed by anyone? Yes. Like someone? The, everyone took your money and oh, ran. Yeah, yeah the, everyone, everyone. For example, a TV mounter named John Campbell. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. Yo, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, tell us about John. What did he do? You took your money? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Isn't it crazy? That's that's the funniest one ever. Yeah, tell, tell us. us. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, that guy was going around telling people he was going to do whatever they needed for their home. Mhm. Mm and he did like 20 of us friends, all people in the nightclub scene. Jesus. And he's like, yeah, I got you. I'll, I'll do your TV on Friday. I just need, like, uh, money for the parts. And then this guy and that guy and that guy. And he took, like, I think I ended up being, like, 20 grand from all of us. Holy shit. And he just dipped. Damn, Did John he do it Campbell. All in one John day? Campbell. <laughs> Fuck John Campbell. Was that his what real name? Yeah, John Campbell. Whatever yeah. happened with him? That's such a generic name. No one's heard of him since. Every he's John Campbell out there. 20K? <laughs> yeah. I actually saw him, like, three years later. Oh. And he was uh, working the front door at some pub. Ooh. And he just, you know, he went... And I, I let it go. I just went, you know. Hmm. Good yeah. for you. Because he did so, pay me back. So did you never did get your TV mounted then? No. Uh, it's still on the floor, actually. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Fucking John Campbell. Yeah, I have to watch it. Fucking John. That's funny. How did you get that? We had to do our research. Yeah. That's good. Is that in the news? In the news? No. Oh. No. That's crazy. Go ahead. You can ask the next um, one. So tell us about parkour. Parkour? Yeah. yeah. And um, why are you so terrible at it? Oh, that oh, <laughs> that was when I was on MTV. Mm. The, v, the, the parkour, VJ, right? Much so VJ you search. won. No, I, I lost. Oh, okay. I, I came second. The third, actually. Second in the VJ contest. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but so then basically, they, you'll, you'll never give parkour lessons because you're so bad. Right. Okay. Well, that, it was a satire joke. I can actually backflip. You know, I could probably you flip can? off this table. I can. Oh. Yeah. Well, we don't want to do that because it's plexiglass or glass or i don't know <laughs> at some point i would like to see that yeah but, uh, yeah that was a, a satire video obviously i was joking obviously. Uh, okay. i can do shit yeah i can cliff jump can you scale that wall right there i could scale i was put on this planet for one reason to parkour Yeah. That's a scalable wall for me. Yeah. Yeah, you guys probably couldn't. What about could. Staples Center? Can can you scale that? I have scaled Staples Staples Center. <laughs> yeah. Because tickets are it. so expensive, Steve Bron Bron. <laughs> He's the one who put it together <laughs> yeah. with a stapler. <laughs> You're like, That's right. Who needs to scalp a I'm ticket the when they... you can just scale the center? <laughs> right. I helped put the sign for crypto up. Because oh, I was nice. up there already. Yeah. He was just like, <laughs> I'm already here. I'm just gonna watch it from up here. I can parkour. Yeah. That was a joke. Okay. Yeah. Answer the parkour video here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that uh, still on the internet? Yeah. Wow. So we're going to assume you're a social guy. You mm. love events and festivals. Do you have problems going to the uh, washroom or bathroom at festivals when you're drunk? I, I often pee in the festival wherever I am. Yeah? Yeah. So we were just at Stagecoach a few weeks ago, actually. Mm -hmm. Is that the country one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm wiped up now. Didn't need to do the whole drug Coachella thing again. Yeah. yeah. Went for, like, the beer drinking, like, cuddle, like, Chris Stapleton vibes, you know? Yeah. Got it. So uh, we went, like, 10 of us. And, like, throughout the festival, we would just make a circle of 10 of us. And one of us would go in the middle and just piss. That's actually really smart. Why not? Why not? In the middle of the festival. You're no soiling one... the ground. So we just yeah. go, like, arm to arm like this in a circle. 
like kind of like this. And then what do the girls do? Just the, the girls stand and pee. No, so we we had a lawn chair that had like lines through it, and they would just kind of open up one of the holes, and their vagina would go through the hole, and shh, you know. That's a meaty vagina. Yeah, one girl with us was uh, she's transitioning into a boy, uh-huh. transgender. Uh huh. But we didn't know how far she was into the transition uh-huh. if she did the penis or not. So that was exciting actually for us to see. Will she sit? Will she stand? Yeah. Uh, so she sat. Okay. We were like, okay, she doesn't have the penis yet. Good to know. Uh, so, and it really came out. Interesting. Yeah. So they didn't wipe though. They just did the old shake and dry like a dog. That's right. Yeah. No wipe. Do you sit <laughs> or do you stand? I stand. In the past, when you've gone to festivals before you came up with the system, did you have issues before, and that's why you came up with the system? Oh, you guys know that I couldn't pee at Coachella last year. No. Oh. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool, cool, No, cool. at Coachella last year, this is kind of weird, but when I'm high, even on weed mm-hmm. or even on Adderall, mm-hmm. I don't know if this happens to other people, but I can't pee. It fucks mm. with me somehow, even just from weed, uh, mushrooms, whatever I'm on. So at Coachella, you know, we had some Coachella fun. And uh, I couldn't pee for like over over twenty four hours, Ooh, yeah. and it, and it started like my bladder was really fucked, and I Ow. I was Did gonna you go get to the like hospital. A bladder infection? So it wasn't wasn't normal. Like it wasn't even funny. Yeah. And I was like, and it was I could feel it like start to come in the up here, but nothing. So then I was like crying. I actually left early from the festival to go home and try to deal with it. Couldn't happen. I was so tired yeah. that I put my penis in a Gatorade bottle, and I I like used elastics and tape to keep it yeah and i slept with <laughs> my penis in a, a gatorade bottle <laughs> did I you end up like going a diaper would have no. been better no though. no it wasn't till the next day where it didn't do anything to why don't you just put on like an adult diaper yeah we didn't have those at Coachella. <laughs> you just had a gatorade bottle and that's some all tape. we had nice. yeah. yeah okay i thought you were like i'm like how did you know that no okay. we do want to see your underpants though right now yeah what are they yeah, do you have a Gatorade bottle? These are sick. Socks? Sacks. Yeah, okay. so uh, nice. if you look inside, Sacksy. there's a liner, uh-huh. and it's to hold your your penis and your ball sock. Oh. Uh, shoo, so it's not flipping and flopping, it's tipping and walking. Ah, oh, okay. Shout tipping out to Sacks. Sacks is sick. They're expensive, but yeah. they're worth it, yeah. Well, hopefully they'll sponsor it's you. It's like $45 a pair. So you only have like one pair of underwear then? So yeah, expensive. this is like I usually go uh you wear them four times, you know? Nice, yeah. Once like this, once flipped. Yeah. Then inside out like this and then flip back. I do the same thing with my thongs, so it's weird when I have to flip the string up to the front. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. So you travel a lot. Um, you know, we've seen you went to Cancun recently. And tell us about Pleasure Principle Spring Break 2012. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. You guys are hilarious. Okay, Tell I would love to. Go yeah. <laughs> Who did you talk to? Just talk, tell us about Pleasure Principle Spring Break <laughs> 2012. <it> Lucas? <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, so we were we were we were in Cancun 2012. All the boys, mm-hmm. I think ten of us went, and it was our last hoorah. You know, we all knew because we went to Cancun 10 years in a row and it was our 10th year. Mm. And we're like, we need to grow up, you know. We're I getting, love Cancun. It's great. But yeah. well, we stay at, you know, that piece of shit resort Oasis. Oh, yeah. that's Where awesome. it's just spring break degenerate like a two-star hotel. And we did that. Dirty, for dirty, years. dirty. Yeah, disgusting. So we, you know, going to Cancun now is cool. But the way we did it, like spring break is mm-hmm. like loser. You know, when you're out of first year college, like, what are you doing here? Like, relax. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, 10 years in a row, like, you guys are fucking jokes. <laughs> You know, but we did. And that was our last hoorah. So the last night of the last hoorah, we said, let's go to Pleasure Principal, which is a beautiful whorehouse. Oh, Principal. Is whorehouse okay? Uh, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah that's totally fine. fine. Yeah. Okay, whorehouse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I just found out Hooker is out. No, it's still in. Okay. Yeah, it's in. Yeah. Okay. The people who said that are out. It was Angela White. <laughs> oh, she said that? She said Hooker's out. Ah, fuck. So what do you say then? Call girl? I don't know what to say now. She's queen. I say low end escort. <laughs> Just we'll just say call girl. I say your mom. Oh, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> she retired. <laughs> okay, go on. So we're like, let's go, go to the the whore, famous whorehouse. It's mm-hmm. on the back of every taxi. We're like, we gotta try it. And you go there, and they bring out like thirty girls, and it was seven of us. Mm-hmm. And we all pick our girls, and you know, we did all these little rock paper scissors games. Who picks first? And 
And then, okay, what's your name? You know, you kind of play bachelor with, with the, the... Did they speak English or no? Mm. Hello. You know, whatever. <laughs> Hola. See, you know? Yeah. And uh, then we just decided, like, boys, let's do it all in one room. They said, we said, how much to do it in one room? <laughs> it was like 6 a.m. after a long night. And they were like, we're not comfortable with that. You all have to pay double. Like, fuck it. Let's go. I think it was like 350 for the hour. So we all paid like 700 And so, yeah, seven of us went into one little tiny massage room. Wow. Were you guys all looking at each other? You... <laughs> yeah. Of course they were. Yeah. Were you trying to out fuck one another? Like... <laughs> yes. It became very competitive. Did you yeah. swap girls around? No, they see we tried to. They weren't they didn't want to do that. They oh. wanted us to pay more for that. Oh. One guy though, the oldest, I'm not gonna say his name. He knows who he is. Mm -hmm. He came in like a minute mm -hmm. and just like awkwardly like walked around looking at us and we we're like, <laughs> that's fucking weird. <laughs> that's You're sad. gay. And my boy Lucas, <laughs> my boy Lucas really fucking put it down and I was like, for the rest of my life, I've been saying, like, Lucas is good in bed. Yeah. He was just pulling her hair and smacking her and making her call him <laughs> Lukey baby. He's like, what's my fucking name? Lukey baby. And he was fucking the shit out of her. <laughs> and me and my friend Josh, we've always been competitive with girls. We were neck and neck. Like You guys were like Energizer Bunny? Yeah, who can fuck better, me or Josh? And we were just <laughs> trying to like, you know, it was a loud off, like a moan oh off. Uh, so we did, a, we called it the 14 some. Yeah. And that was a memorable night. Who was the night. last one to pop? Uh, my friend Mike. Oh, Mike, Mike was, uh, he was just going through a heartbreak. Mike's a late bloomer. Yeah, he just yeah. got dumped and his heart completely ripped out of his mm. chest. Uh, so he was in the, his, there was a was, bathtub in the corner. His was like a depressing fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And he was just like trying to kiss her. And she's like, no lips. No, you know, no, and he's just making love to her in the tub. And uh, we're like, Mike, Mike, her. it's a whorehouse. You know, they don't want to kiss you. Yeah, yeah, poor guy. Uh, oh, well, you know, we're talking about traveling. What about Barcelona? Have you been to Barcelona? <laughs> um, the the Baghdad sex club ring? Wow. Does that ring a bell? What? That, I mean, we're talking See, about... See, those are the two nights of my life right there. Yeah. Yeah, are Baghdad. They? Yeah. What a spot. Yeah. Baghdad are... sex club. Yes. Yeah. Legendary place. Did you guys all do one room again? No. Everybody? So actually, Baghdad, they take your phones... And mm -hmm. it was really expensive cover just to get in. And the concierge, we're staying at the W Barcelona, and our concierge said, you guys are four dudes. Okay, don't Google it. Just go at midnight to Baghdad. I set it up. Don't just go in open-minded and just go have a night and then come talk to me tomorrow. We're like, what is this place? We didn't Google it. And we just went, it's like a hole in the Why wall. Why didn't they want you to Google it? Because the reviews are bad? What, well, the reviews are fucked. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, like if you Google it right now, you'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a wild fucking spot. So it's an interactive sex show. Okay. So it's uh, kind of like movie theater chairs around a stage, let's say, like this. Mm -hmm. uh, two rows. And it's a spinning stage. It's like a four-hour show. Cover was like 250 euros. So that's like almost 500 US at the time because euros were twice as much, I think. Mm -hmm. So 500 bucks to get in. But everyone at the show gets invited on stage. Ooh. And you have to do something in front of all the guests. No phones. Oh, shit. So really fucking crazy. And, you know, we were young. We Does were... everybody wear condoms? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they put condoms on everyone. So, you know. That's they, good. They're safe. Yeah. And they do the cool, like, crazy shit. Like, one girl pulled out, like, four football fields of beads for, like, 10 minutes. And we're like, when's this going to stop? <laughs> Kept going. Uh, then the second girl came out to me, actually. And she, she handed me a light bulb. Mm -hmm. And she put her leg up on my chair. And she says, entry, entry. So I put it up her vagina and it lit up. Because uh, the battery was up her vagina. Wow. Cool trick. Interesting. Yeah. And then um, then they bring up a random guy and he they put a condom on him and she's seducing him. He gets a little hard and she just puts coconut oil in her ass and he fucks her in the ass. We're like, oh my God. In Barcelona. So this kept happening. And then they say grand finale and they mm -hmm. put a chair on. They say 10 minute blowjob. And I haven't gone up yet. So oh. I'm like, hey. You're like, I'm the grand yeah, finale. I just got the light bulb thing. I'm like, that's not, you know, I want more. Yeah, yeah. You know, paid a lot of money. That was like half my bank account at the time. So I go on stage and uh, I get, you know, condom on. And this girl comes out with really big boobs and just gives me a long, lovely blowjob. Yeah. You know, and uh, everyone's cheering me on. I'm spinning on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, enjoying it. And uh, and they sent me back down. I didn't come. I was too nervous with the people watching. Yeah. It was like half hard. Yeah. With the spinning stage too. Yeah, very slowly. You know, and uh, they sent me back down and 
Then some guy comes out with a drum set, like drum line, Nick Cannon vibes, just drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. And the girl that just gave me the 10 minute blowjob, boom, rips her track pants off, huge dick. Oh <gasps> my yeah. God. And she goes, she goes, she goes, you're gay. <laughs> and then boom, the curtains go and that's the night. And everyone just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and that and is a party trick right there. Crazy. Yeah. And if you Google it, they'll tell you that. Don't go on last because that's the grand finale. And you had no idea. I had no idea. We didn't Google. That's it. the man yeah. finale. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just got sweaty thinking about that. Night. Jesus Christ. And back then, it, you know, think. Did 10, your friends make fun of you the rest of the trip? The rest of my life. Yeah. Still yeah. gets brought up. <laughs> and, and look, not. It sounds mean to trance and uh, gay people, but I think ten years ago, before it was more normal. And you're like 20 years old. Yeah. You know that's fuck. That scars the shit out of you. But it's, now I would it wouldn't bother me as much. Right. You know because trans and gay and I'm so comfortable. But back then, yeah. 20 year old boy like let's go to fucking Barcelona fuck some girls. Yeah. And that happens. They robbed you of your consent. <laughs> they were like, we don't care. <laughs> like, we're gonna put this on you. Mm -hmm. Jesus. That's so amazing. um, tell us. You know we keep talking about all these sexy things. How, how'd you, uh, you lost your virginity in a casino parking lot? <laughs> Who did you talk to? Tell us about this. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Did you win, did you win like real big and then you went out in the casino parking lot and you're like, now nah, I'm really going to win big? I was the last one. Or was it one, one of the employees? <laughs> I was the last one in my friend group to lose my virginity. Mm -hmm. I was a late bloomer. I didn't yeah. get, I was like a two. Oh, so you were the late bloomer. Mike wasn't. It was you. Mike was the broken heart. He was the broken heart. Late comer. Oh, okay. I was a late bloomer. Mike okay. was always good looking. Okay. Yeah. But uh, everyone was losing their virginities like grade 10, 11. Mm -hmm. And I was ugly as sin until grade 12, I got my growth spurt and cut my hair and braces off. And, you know, I had a little bit more swag to me. Wasn't good looking yet. Still not. We've but... seen some videos of you when you were younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I was like a four. And then grade 12, I went up to like a 6.5. You're very, very, uh, you're a lot stylish now. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Hollister. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And uh, first week, my friend tells me, Hey, my cousin is going to your school. Can you take care of her? You know, show her around. And I was like, okay, new girl. This could be it, you know? Mm -hmm. And she shows up and she's good looking. And she has massive boobs, like huge triple D boobs. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And we start flirting a little bit at the lunch table and I'm introducing her to everyone, you know? And we're like, okay, well, Friday, we all have fake IDs. We're going to go to the casino. Mm. Because that's cool when you're in high school to go to the casino. I thought I was the only one. Like, literally, I had a fake ID to be 18 when I was 16. I thought I was the coolest ever. It's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Yeah. Except when you think about, oh, if I win big, I'm fucked. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. I never thought of that. And yeah, I, I told my friend, I'm like, oh, I'm going to pretend like it's your money if I do. <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, go on. So we get to the casino, and she had a shitty ID. It didn't work. They mm. said, no, no. And I said, I'll wait in the car with you. Mm -hmm. you know, while all our friends go gamble. Because the casino was far away. Yeah. 45 minutes. Uber didn't exist. So went and waited in the car, and uh, I said, this is it. You know, we all lived with our parents. Mm-hmm. Casino parking lot. Mm -hmm. Make my move, you know? Mm -hmm. My loser friends, though, figured, because I told them, I'm like, I'm going to try to mm -hmm. lose my virginity. And they didn't go in. They waited in the bushes. Of course. Looking through, watching us do our <laughs> thing. And... So I, uh, everyone uses a condom the first time because it's like instilled in your brain from sex ed. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Everyone thinks condom, condom. For yeah, yeah. So I put the condom on and she gets on top and I'm like, oh my God, it's in. You know? <laughs> and just as it fucking, rip, right as it goes in, my friends show up, start, God, scare the shit oh. out of us, banging on the window. Oh, and that was man. it. So it only went in for a second, but that counts. It still counts. Yeah, that's my virginity. Yeah, it still counts. And then it was yeah. like six months till I actually had sex. Oh, that's just... But I told everyone, like, yeah, no, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally did it. Yeah. One I have stroke. a question. Mm -hmm. um, so upon digging into your sex life, <laughs> um, we're just curious if you could explain to us uh, what the chill is when it comes to fingering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chill. Yeah, what Tell is us that? about the chill. You guys talk to Lucas, right? What's the chill? Yeah, what's the chill? Or JP. What's the chill? Tell us. We got to hear. <laughs> <laughs> or London? Oh, my. You're going to tell me at the end? Yes. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> Those are my three picks. Lucas, JP, London. 
I think. Okay, what's the chill when it comes to fingering? Okay, so I had a girlfriend, uh, Vero, at the time. and um, Vero? Yeah, Ver Veronique. Oh, okay. Yeah, Vero. Yeah. That's sexy. And uh, I, I wanted to finger her, mm -hmm. you know, but I didn't know what I was doing. So we're making out, and I was like, here we go. I'm going to go in. And I just kind of <laughs> put one <laughs> finger up, and I thought fingering, you just kind of <laughs> you stick it up, and you just leave it there. And, <laughs> just sit with it there? Yeah, it was at a party in like some... Okay basement room and i just and then we just kept making out and i just <laughs> and then I'm, i go you know we leave and i go tell the whole party like i fingered her you know i fucking fingered a girl she's and I thought probably it was like so that sick. was terrible <laughs> and, yeah and i had no idea that she was going around telling the party her side of the story yeah and then monday school comes up and i'm walking <laughs> like in the, like in a movie like i'm walking everyone's like hey what's up chill hey chill <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Everyone just kept calling me the chill. Chill. Yeah. <laughs> chill. I'm like, what? What is this? I'm, what, is this a joke? One like, finger and chill. And then someone explains to me that I heard you just went up there and chill. <laughs> Everyone's calling you the chill. That's amazing. I'm like, you, what are you supposed to do? You know? And they're like, fucker. I'm like, oh, that's finger fucking. Uh, I thought fingering, finger fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Now we know. So that was. I always want to know because some people say finger blasting. I'm like, what's the difference between finger fucking I've and never, finger blasting? I've right. never heard that. I've never. Heard I know I've heard blasting. that. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what's? See, the I difference? thought all that was doing this, but that's the. It's chill. like the more like the Mormon soak of the finger. You know what that is? Soaking. I never knew yes, what it was until yes, she told yeah, me. Yeah, it's, it's pretty new, crazy. That's the dumbest thing it's I've ever heard. It's dumb, but people actually do it. Jumping so, on the so bed. So stupid. They're all going to their Mormon hell. It's weird. Yeah. Um, is it true? You shattered your ankle and missed out on a whole summer from a dodgeball game? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. still have the most excruciating scar. How'd Pins you shatter it? In my ankle. Look at that. Oh, wow. Terrible. Yeah, June 1st. If there's a day to miss three months on crutches, wouldn't June 1st be the worst day? Yeah. Whole summer. So yeah. I jumped off my friend JP's back and he popped me to save the game. I actually won the game on the last play. They had to get in the net to put their whole team in. Save the game, come down, shatter my ankle, and mm. uh, I was in crutches the whole summer. And hey, you saved the game though, and you're gonna have that story forever. No one cared. Back in they said, move them to the side. Back in 2013, let's, let's or what you, whatever year it was. <laughs> this is crazy. I saved the game. <laughs> uh, These sound like JP but, stories. Um, so your chest tattoos, do they have meaning, or are they just there because you've accepted the fact that you will never have chest pecs? <laughs> Yo, it's so true though. I, I have no chest. You know, you can really? eat a bowl of soup out of my chest. It's just sunken in. So, so you're so you're you're like covered, am I right? Uh no, just the chest actually. It comes from full insecurity of Aww. never having a chest. Absolutely. So I wanted to cover it up. Uh this guy here though, pretty cool. It's the son of Zeus, uh Dionysus, and he invented wine and orgies mm -hmm. and pleasure. So he was the first person ever to throw a party, first person ever to introduce alcohol to the world. And to tell people to fuck not for children and to mate, but to have enjoy sex. So he's kind to of have a legend. Fun. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like that kind. That guy kind Is of. Is it true me. though? By like your nipple though, that's like the worst. Because I yes. know somebody that just got around that area. Here actually in the middle. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That one sucks. And and by the armpit. And I heard the ribs too. Yes. Because I the used to want a rib sucked. tattoo, but yeah. Oh, that was the worst one. Oh ever. yeah, that was my got first that tattoo. Tulum. Fuck. I had already had a kid by then, and it was literally it was like more painful than. Being in labor. Yeah, when I do Whoa. my left arm, yeah. I'm gonna do the uh, where they sedate you. Oh. oh, you're gonna do the Justin Bieber thing. Yes. Yeah. Why not? That's yeah. so sick. Sedate you while you do everything. <laughs> yeah, just drool. You know, <laughs> sit there. That's they the just dream. give you like laughing gas. Is that what they do? Yeah. yeah. And then you're just KO'd and you wake up and you're tatted. Sick. Yeah. Because it be... fucking hurts, man. Yeah. People are like, no, it doesn't. You know, it hurts. It does. Yeah. Yeah. You have a lot. Uh, I have like here to here and then some on my back. Yeah, but the shoulder blade is probably my worst. Mm. Yeah. Um, he's nervous. He's like, what else are you guys going <laughs> to All right. Fuck, Mary kill. Mm. Britney Spears. Now Britney or old Britney? Hold on. Britney Spears, Kelly Kapowski, Miss Gavilan. <laughs> That's funny. It's Galavan. Ga yeah, I was going to say it's Miss Galavan. Oh, Galavan. You kind clear. of look like her. Oh, oh. go on. Yeah. Fuck, so, Mary kill. Yeah. I still think... <laughs> I still think she likes me. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? I we had a. I feel it. She she was on my street and she always go for these jogs. Mm. And oh, and she never wore. She would take her bra off. Yeah. 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 She she did like the nippy shirts, you know, mm. kind of like uh, little Rachel. Does she still teach? Moment. Right. Does yeah. she still teach? 
No, she's retired. Oh. Yeah. Miss Gallivan is Mary for sure. She probably has an OnlyFans. Well, after I graduated, I messaged her on Facebook and I said, do you want to go on a date to Spa Nordique? A married woman. No, she just got divorced oh, God. and moved off my street. Wow. She was just some rich guy and they divorced. And she said, uh, I wouldn't be comfortable going with you somewhere private, but I would meet up with you somewhere at like a beer festival or something. And I said, okay, I can work with that. And uh, so beer fest was coming up and I invited her and she blocked me. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. So um, Miss Gallivan Mary, mm -hmm. she's so beautiful. Uh, fuck Kelly Popowski. She's the first person I ever jerked off to. Mm. Uh, you know, Brittany, I just want to put her out of her misery, you know? <laughs> Old Brittany. Yeah, like, like old Britney. Like, like, or no, sorry. Yeah, like when she was re, younger. Like, oh, yeah, not, save not her, current. Yeah, but save her from her future. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, pull yeah, the plug. Yeah, be no, like, you're sure. not going to be happy in yeah. the future. You're going to be trapped in a house. That's and a, put yeah. weird dancing videos and captions that say you're okay, but you're not. That's so true, though. Yeah. Um, is it true that Lucas saved you from getting beat up in the bathroom at the Conor McGregor fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, there's a meme of a guy, after the McGregor fight in Vegas, there's a meme of a guy laying in a pool of blood. And it was me that did that to him. Whoa. Yeah, it's like Irish fans are crazy. McGregor fans are nuts. I just saw this in the bathroom. And it was a guy wearing a Dustin Poirier t-shirt just laying in a pool of blood. And that went super viral. It was me. But, so Lucas was taking a pee. This was Lucas and Duck. Mm -hmm. He's good. That was one of them. That was a <laughs> Yeah. He's the best. That's yeah. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you the crazy ones, right? Just go on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Lucas is screaming, McGregor, McGregor. And mm -hmm. the guy's like, fuck you, Poirier won. Put some respect on his name. So stupid. And then he stops peeing. And then he knocks Lucas out while Lucas is peeing. And his head hits Jesus. the urinal. And Lucas is KO'd. And I'm peeing. I see that. I'm like, oh, my God. So I just suck bomb the guy. And I, your, boy can, your boy's got a good laugh. Yeah. I just dropped the guy. Are you left-handed? Yeah, I'm left-handed. Yeah. yeah. And I just fucking, boom, KO'd the guy, and he was just, boom. So did Lucas pee all over himself? I believe he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. You're right. That That's a part of the story I always leave out. Yeah. And uh, he was... Because if he was KO'd, like, he's... But it he's says... Going. So Lucas said that he saved you. He didn't do shit. Oh. Lucas woke up from his, like, Liar. little 10-second coma that he was in. And he gets up and he goes, fucking pussy. And he kicks him that, that while was he was his... already KO'd. And I think that's where the blood came from. Lucas mm. hitting a fucking KO'd guy, which is a big no-no in sports. Yeah. So then they, kick someone while they're already they arrest us. Police were just outside and they arrest us. Uh, arrest us. But they put us in cuffs and they're like, we have to wait for the guy to wake up to see yeah. what we're going to do with you. You might be charged. Yeah. And finally he wakes up and the guy says, fuck the police. And they said, okay, you guys are free. <laughs> nice. True story. Oh, yeah, you have another question. Legendary yeah, podcast. There's one more question. <laughs> you guys um, are the best. Can you tell us about your family dogs, Toby and Tramp? Oh. Or you got one yourself, Butters. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Butters. That's funny. Poor Butters. Yeah, I adopted a dog, mm -hmm. Butters. And Wait, did you name him Butters from South Park? He was nine years old. Oh. I, I had a theory that if you adopt an old dog, mm -hmm. it's not a commitment. Yeah. Because yeah. if you get a dog, you know, I'm 30. If you get a dog now, you know, you, you'll have this thing every day till you're 45. Pretty crazy. But if you get like a nine or 10 year old dog, you know, take care of him. He's surely doesn't he walks that much. And then he's off Theatric in like three, four years. <laughs> so I got it. I adopted an old dog. Butters. He shows up and he's scared shitless of me and hiding and shivering and shaking. Aww. And we lived in a house, uh, three boys. Then my girlfriend at the time would come over and he'd like run to her to be rescued or my mom. And I'm like, what the fuck? He hated so we, men. Yeah, he hated mm. men, scared to death. So we call uh, the place we got it from. We're like, why is, like, oh, we should have mentioned that uh, he was with an abusive male. Aww. Six feet tall, white guy. <sighs> that beat the shit out of this dog for nine years. That's sad. So he loves females because he doesn't trust men. Fair. Mm. So I gave the dog away after a week and a half to uh, a lesbian couple that mm. lived on a farm. Perfect. But people go at me about this all the time of like, you could never have a dog member butters, yet you couldn't last a week. I'm like, no, no, I saved him. <laughs> yeah, it was because he he didn't want to be with you. Right. He wanted to be with a lady. Oh, right. butters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you talk to? <laughs> it was a late night last night and I was doing my research and uh, you might want to know that your IMBD profile has your Facebook linked to it. So I started to do my own research. <laughs> 
And then I saw that you had pictures of you with your high school friends. And then I went to your Instagram and matched them up. And I sent a very bizarre Don't message. Don't ever piss her off. <laughs> no, I'm a woman. That's what we do. They had so much more to say, but they didn't want to piss Brie off. They're nice guys. Yeah, but I was like, this is going to sound bizarre, but can you give me some good questions to ask Ryan? Mm -hmm. Because we think we know Ryan, but do we yeah. really know Ryan? <laughs> yeah. So, so who was it? I'll tell you. Yeah. Lukey baby. I almost messaged your sister. She's got two first names. As... Don't talk to Jess. No, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't because I was like, oh, yeah. how how much do I want to? I'm going to see her next week, first time in like two, three years. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I didn't. I kept that. <laughs> um, I texted a Pat Mooney. Oh, wow. I texted um, JP yeah, Hamlin. He was the first one to respond. <laughs> I thought I was going to wake up to nothing or them being like, what the fuck? And they're so willing. But instead, I woke yeah, up to a, a group, chat. group chat called <laughs> Ryan's Roast. <laughs> <laughs> and it had Lucas in it. So it was JP and Lucas. JP yeah. and Lucas and Pat Mooney? No, he still hasn't seen my message. Okay. Yeah. So JP and Lucas, I, I called yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it was fun uh -huh. though. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's this is the most fun podcast ever. I'm glad you had fun. Oh, so yeah. Back a lot of Again, thank you so much for coming. But, oh, thank you. But seriously, tell everyone where they can find you. Also, your own podcast and anything else you'd like to plug coming up. Yeah, it's Ryan Pano, Pillow Talk with Ryan, and re-signing with Bang. Woo! Going to ask to do Kenzie Taylor again because... We have a bond. My You're going to watch my Kenzie virginity. Taylor. There's a difference And I would love between... to invite you guys to do a pillow talk also. Hell yes. yeah. Let's okay, fucking great. go. Great. Absolutely. Good luck finding shit on me. You guys are in LA. All the, so mm -hmm. anytime works. I live five minutes from here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Nice studio. Bro. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. What an episode. This Thanks. is fun. All I've right, never guys. sweat so much. Be sure to follow Ryan and check out his podcast, Pillow Talk. And I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god, that's fun. Hey guys, it's me, Sarah Taylor. Word on the street, there's a new product around. Feels by Kenzie Taylor. It's going to be your favorite go-to lubricant. Water-based, doesn't dry up. The best product for your stroking and stroker. Be sure to check out Feels by Kenzie Taylor at feelsbykenzie.com. Hey guys, it's me, Kenzie Taylor. Thanks for tuning into the Sauce Podcast. And if you liked this episode, which I know you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share so that everyone else can enjoy the sauce. And we'll see you every Tuesday with a new episode.